Be thou exalted, O God, above the heavens. Let thy glory be above all the earth. Psalm 57, verse 5. Welcome to the miracle and healing ministry of Jesus Christ. Listen now as his servant, Apostle Tanya, teaches on the Word of God. We invite you to visit us online at www.apostletanya.org. If we look back in the Holy Scriptures, when thy Lord God had Abraham to pray concerning righteous Sodom, because thy Lord was going to slew everyone, including the righteous, let us remember what Abraham's intercession was. Abraham did not want Jehovah to kill every person because he desired to save those who were righteous among the wicked. Now, why did Jehovah giveth air and hear? his son Abraham. Perhaps we might conclude the answer is found in the Holy Bible in the first book of John, chapter 5, verses 14 and 15. In this we have confidence when we pray according to his will. He hears us. Therefore, we should conclude, Jehovah heard his son Abraham because of his pure heart, mercy, compassion and intercession, and boldness in prayer. Surely, I believe, it was not Jehovah's will to kill every person there. For our Lord is a holy father whom had already given Abraham the pure heart to intercede and to command that all the souls and the people would not die. Our holy father gave Abraham, dear ones, the heart to contend. Why did our holy, all-powerful, and mighty one reveal his heart of meekness to Abraham? Surely I think it is meekness. He wanted to teach him on meekness. Our Jehovah was teaching Abraham also how to intercede, be merciful, because the most holy one of Israel loves relationships. Our Lord gave Abraham the patience to intercede because he wanted also the time with his son. Abraham, who was imputed for righteousness because of his faith, was a son of God. He was Jehovah Gabor's friend. Thy Lord was speaking to Abraham as a close friend whom would revealeth a secret. And it is recorded, and the Lord said, Shall I hide for, from Abraham, pardon me, that thing which I do? He was his friend. Oft times Almighty Lord pursueth us 
for most holy friendship with him with intercession. Let us remember then the Holy One can use any of his children that he has. Yet in his loving kindness and humility, he uses us because he surely loveth to draweth us to himself. To know him, I believe, and to become acquainted with his holy character. He is a most relational and conversational God. Our forefather Abraham contended with the Lord God, reminding the Lord as a righteous judge of his authority and of his mercy with his question to thy Lord. Shall not the judge of all the earth do right? Thy Lord has been most kind to share with me the many blessed prayers that he has heard for me and the ministry. Friends, the Father of glory is most pleased with the prayers. This revelation from heaven has provoked tears of deep gratitude for each of you. Thank you most kindly for remembering me.